Hello guys, welcome back to Student Future Channel. In today's video, I will guide you how to apply for ANSO Scholarship 2025 in China. So you can apply for Master and PhD program as well. If we talk about the details of this scholarship, two universities are available, USTC and UCAS. And the number of scholarships are 500. And the deadline to apply for this scholarship is 15 February 2025. If we talk about these two universities, first of all, what is USTC? This is University of Science and Technology of China and it is considered one of the top university in China and Asia. And if we talk about UCAS, it is the University of Chinese Academy of Sciences that is affiliated with the Chinese Academy of Sciences. So if we talk about the scholarship benefit for ANSO scholarship, here you can see for PhD program and master program as well. So tuition fee is fully covered and you will get monthly stipend. For PhD you will get 6,000 or 7,000 yuan and for master program you will get 3,000 yuan. Then your health insurance will also be covered. There is no application fee and international travel allowance will also be covered. And you will also get one time visa or residence permit allowance as well. So the scholarship requirements are first of all, you should not be Chinese citizenship. Then eligible applicant should be proficient in English or Chinese. For master's program, you should born after 1st January 1995. And if you are applying for PhD program, then you should be born after 1st January 1990. Eligible applicants should meet the admission criteria for international students of USTC or UCAS University. So there is an important note, you are not allowed to apply for the ANSO scholarship in both USTC and UCAS simultaneously. Otherwise, you will be disqualified from admission. So you can either apply for USTC scholarship or you can apply for UCAS scholarship. Then the second thing that I want to tell you is there is no need to find a host supervisor when you will apply for this scholarship. All of your material and documents only if your online application is complete will be sent to the school and department for their reference. Online interview will be organized by school and departments afterwards and professor will select prospective student according to application material and interview performance. This is applicable for USTC scholarship. So first of all, I will guide you how to apply for USTC university scholarship for ANSO scholarship. So if we talk about ANSO scholarship, here is the official website for this scholarship details. Here you can get each and everything related to this scholarship. First of all, if we are going to apply for USTC scholarship, here you can check the first link for application guidelines. Click here and open link in new tab. From here, you can check eligibility for this scholarship and then what is the application process. Here you can see online application to create your account. You have to first of all create account at this link. Click here on online application system when you will click here this type of page will be open first of all you have to create an account so click here now enter your data one by one first of all enter your last name then enter your given name then enter your email address and confirm your email address then select your gender, then enter your date of birth, then enter your passport number, then select your nationality then you have to choose a password that should be more than six characters or digits. Then confirm your password. Then enter these digits here in check code. Now click on create. Click on OK. Here you can see your account is logged in now. Here you can see continue to apply. So click here. Now this type of page will be open. Click on online application. Now you have to check for which category you are going to apply. For example, you are going to apply for master program or doctoral program. So if you are going to apply for PhD, you have to click here. Now here you can see different options for source of funding and their details. For example, if you click on self-financed, it means you have to cover all of these charges. If you are applying for scholarship, then you can choose any of these options. 
USTC Fellowship Level A. For Level A, you can check all of these data. For example, here you have to pass qualification test. Then there is next option related to Level B. Here you can see the details related to here. So if you fall in any of these categories, for example, you think you, you can be eligible for Level A scholarship, then you have to mark this one. Now you have to click on I agree to be considered a potential candidate for the ANSO scholarship category. You can also choose more than one option if you think you you are not eligible for level A you can also apply for level B as well then here you can see you can choose more than one options above USTC will decide it based on the comprehensive evaluation of each applicant okay so you can select any of these options as well then you have to click on save and next now this type of page will be open so you have to fill all of this data one by one first of all enter your basic info so these static options are important so just add all of these details select your marital status then enter your nationality then select your religion select your country of birth now you have to write your birthplace then country you are currently residing in select your country enter your city name so here you can see if you don't have your passport yet then you can select this option no passport yet then passport expiry date enter the date here then attach your passport picture click on upload and attach your pa uh, passport document click on browse and here you can attach your passport click on submit click on ok similarly you have to attach your picture the photo will be used on your student ID card if you are admitted. It should be one inch photo with blue or white background. Okay, so attach your picture here. Next option is are you an immigrant from other country or region? Select no. Then name of emergency contact. Here you can add your parents contact. Then enter their mobile phone number. Then select your current occupation. For example, if you are a student, then select student. Then name of your school or employer or organization. If you are a student, then enter your university or college school name. After adding all of this data, click on save and next. Next option is study plan. So if you are applying for PhD, here you have to select your major. First of all, for example, I am applying for chemistry. Then select your research field. Then you have to write what research field are you interested in. No more than 100 words. So enter your research field. The next option is have you got acceptance from supervisors in USTC. Here I told you you have option to approach supervisors. For this USTC you don't need to get supervision from supervisors. So here you can select no. If you want to get supervision then you can also approach to professors for supervision as well. Then if you contact it to the supervisors and you have admission letter or acceptance letter from supervisors then you can select yes so if you will select yes then you have to write the name of the supervisor so for USTC it's optional now click on save and next next option is you have to enter your education and employment so you have to give information of your bachelor's and master's degree First of all, what is the first option? The country or region where this school or university is located. So select country. Then enter name of the school or university. If you cannot find your university name here, then you can write your university name here as well. Then next option is the degree that you have achieved from the school or university. So if you are applying for a bachelor's degree, first of all, select this one. Then enter your major. Then write durations for bachelor, it's four years. Then you have to write choose date, start time and end time. Then write your average score. Then write your GPA of your bachelor's degree. Then you have to write the ranking of your class. Then you have to write the title of your thesis. But if you don't have thesis in your bachelor, then you can enter just nil. Then national ranking of your university, if you want to add, then you can add, otherwise it's optional. Next is notarized copy of degree certificate. Now you have to attach photocopy of degree certificate that is notarized by Ministry of Education or Equivalent Authority. Click on upload and attach your document. Click on submit. Now you have to attach your transcript of your bachelor's degree. After adding your bachelor's degree data, click on add more educational details and now you have to enter your master's degree. Select your country. Similarly, select your university name. From here you have to select your master's degree now, then enter your major, then duration 2 years, then again you have write start time and end time of your degree, 
similarly write all of the data as you did in a bachelor's format now write your average score then write your gpa then again write ranking of your class then write title of your thesis of your master's degree now scroll down and now you have to attach your master's degree and then attach your master's transcript so scroll down and here you have to add your academic achievement so here you have to add data of your published papers or thesis so first of all enter title of your paper then add doi publication time publication location type journal title impact factor and author ranking then you have to attach abstract page of the published paper simply click on upload and attach the first page of your published paper if you don't have then you can leave it as well next is employment background this is also optional if you have employment then you have to add data start time and end time name of the company and job position if you have more than one employment simply click on add more and add more data then click on save and next next step is language proficiency now you have to add your language certificate first of all enter your mother tongue then if you have chinese proficiency then select here if you have hsk level score then you can enter data from here applicants for graduate program start in chinese are required to pass hsk level 4 so if you select any program that is in chinese then you must clear your level 4 hsk test then you have to uh, uh, upload the certificate if you have otherwise next step is english proficiency now you have to select this one then if you have ielts tofl and any other test you have to enter the scores then attach your certificate then click on save and next next is contact info first of all enter your permanent address add your address here then enter your email id enter your mobile phone number if you have fax id then you can add then click on save and next next is you have to enter other information for example enter your family member information first of all first family member then second family member then third family member if your spouse or any relative is currently studying in a has graduated from usdc then you have to enter the data of that person as well so enter the first family member name for example enter enter name then enter nationality you can add your parents or your siblings details then enter age enter the job or position for example you can also write student similarly you have to enter data all of your family members then click on save and next next step is upload your documents now you have to upload all of your documents so if we talk about documents the first document is you have to attach your physical examination form so you have to download it first of all click on download here you can see the physical examination must cover all of the item listed in the formal physical examination form incomplete form without the signature of the attending physician or the official stamp of the hospital or a seal photograph of the applicant our date of the examination are considered as invalid please carefully plan your physical examination schedule as the result is valid for only 6 month so you have to visit any hospital that do a medical test for chinese university then after your medical your physician will fill all of this data and after getting signature and medical report you have to upload it here click on upload and attach your document then you have to attach your cv your personal statement it is also very important document also it's optional but be uh, sure to attach this document as well then a study or research proposal no less than 800 words attach your research proposal non criminal record certificate you have to upload this one as well then other supporting documents in other supporting document you can attach any of the certificate publication or any reward if you have click on upload and attach all of these documents if you want to add more supporting documents simply click here and you can add other supporting document as well after adding all of this data click on save and next click on save and next after adding all of this data no next step is submit so step 9 is submit here i hereby declare that now you have to declare all of this just read it and click on i have read then scroll down and here you have to fill the questionnaire form 
If you don't get admission with scholarship, are you interested in getting admission as a self-finance student? If you are interested, then you can select yes. Otherwise, you have to select no. If you don't get admission with scholarship, are you interested in getting admission as partially self-financed? If you are interested, then you can select yes. If you don't get admission with scholarship, are you interested in getting admission as a partially self-financed student and you will get tuition fee waiver? free on campus competition insurance fee and this 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 read all of this detail then you have to select option very carefully next is how did you get to know about admission in USDC? just select any of the option for example here you can select through the internet if you want to add the details for example my channel name you can add it here then why do you want to apply for USDC? multiple choice so here you have to select any option for example scholarship then click on confirm and submit when you will click on confirm and submit your application for USDC ANSO scholarship will be submitted to the university and then you will get further details from the university on the given email that you have entered here so this is a process to apply for this scholarship I hope you got each and everything and you will apply for this scholarship if you have any kind of query related to this scholarship or university you can comment me I will be there to reply you so wish you very very best of luck See you next video.